Good morning to everyone. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, welcome to the first day of our Divina Summer Fiesta of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. To prepare ourselves worthily to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us now acknowledge our failures before the Lord and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, my in my thoughts and in my, in my words, in what, in what I have done and what, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my, my fault, through, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless, we bless you, we adore, we adore you, you, we glorify, glorify you, you. We, give we give you thanks for, for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, begotten only begotten Son, Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, God Son, Son of the Father, Father. You take, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. All Holy Father, in your divine wisdom and love, you chose that the Blessed Virgin Mary should play her part in the mysteries of our salvation. Grant that by heeding the words of Christ's mother, we may do what he commands in the gospel he has given, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses went up the mountain to God. Then the Lord called to him and said, Thus shall you say to the house of Jacob, Tell the Israelites, You have seen for yourselves how I treated the Egyptians, and how I bore you up on eagle wings, and brought you here to myself. Therefore, if you hearken to my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my special possession, dearer to me than all other people, though all the earth is mine. You shall be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation that is what you must tell the Israelites so Moses went and summoned the elders of the people when he set before them all that the Lord had ordered him to tell them the people all answered together everything the Lord has said we will do the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, you commanded that your precepts be kept with care. O Lord, you commanded that your precepts be kept with care. Happy those whose way is blameless, who walk by the teaching of the Lord. Happy those who observe God's decrees, who seek the Lord with all their heart. O Lord, you commanded that your precepts be kept with care. With all my heart I seek you. Do not let me stray from your commands. 
in my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. O Lord, you commanded that your precepts be kept with care. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your laws. I find joy in the way of your decrees more than in all riches. O Lord, you commanded that your precepts be kept with care. I will ponder your precepts and consider your paths. In your laws I take delight. I will never forget your word. O Lord, you commanded that your precepts be kept with care. Please stand. Blessed are they who hear the word of God and keep it. Blessed is Holy Mary, who fully obeyed God's will. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a wedding in Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does this concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings. It's holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then Jesus told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, Although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter came to the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely an inferior one, but you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this at the beginning of his signs in Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory and his disciples began to believe in him. The brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa muli po, muling magandang umaga sa inyong lahat, ha? mga kapatid sa pananampalataya. So welcome to the first day of our summer fiesta offering these Novena prayers and Masses in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Para marahil sa karamihan sa inyo, kasama na ako, ay ang pagbabalik lugar o pagbabalik tahanan, masasabi natin dito sa Manawag. This is not hopefully our first time here. At kung meron man, welcome to your first visit to the sanctuary of Our Lady of Manawag. Being assigned here formerly, so nakakatabang puso na maimbitihan at bigyan ng karangalan na mag-open sa ating mga gagawin sa susunod na siyam na araw, papunta sa ikasampung araw ang Fiesta on May 4, dedicated to our summer Fiesta of Manawag. So bilang uh, espesyal uh, na selebrasyon uh, ng pag-aalay sa Mahal na Birhen, 
yung ating ebanghelyo marahil ay particular na o familiar na sa atin. Ang kasalang naganap sa Kana sa Galilea, kung saan matapos ang pagpunan ay isang selebrasyon ng kaanak. Maaring uh, relative ng ating mahal na birhen, kaya nga siya ay naimbitahan. Sampu ng Panginoon at kanya mga disipulo. At siyempre, sa isang uh, okasyong katulad dito, may kasayahan at may handaan pagkatapos. At dito na nga nangyari na kinulang sila sa handang anak. At dahil marahil, kapamilya, ayan lumapit ang mahal na birhen para humingi ng tulong sa kanyang anak sa anumang diskarte marahil na maaaring gawin ng ating Panginoon. Simple lang ang kanyang ginawa, anak, wala na silang alak. At ang naging reaksyon ng Panginoon, woman, kung translate natin parang uh, hindi maganda ang dating, babae, parang ganun. Pero actually, may nuances po ito. May ibig ipa alaala o ipapatid sa atin. Dahil kung titingnan po natin ang kwento, ang kasaysayan ng ating kaligtasan, abay, sa paraiso, doon natin nakita ang ating unang mga magulang, sila Adan at Eva. At dito pinangalanan si Eva bilang woman, the better half of Adam, the first man. At sa kasamang palad, alam na natin ang nangyari. Ang naging pagsuway nila Adan at Eva sa kautusan ng Diyos. At dahil dito, ang pagkawala ng kanilang ugnayan, kaya nga sila ay pinalaya sa paraiso. Kaya kung tutusin, meron itong parang uh, paalaala na kung si Eva noon ay naging Ina ng lahat ng buhay, ngunit nalugpok sa pagkakasala. Ito ngayon ang tila imahin ng bagong babae sa harapan ng Panginoong Diyos, sa harapan ng ating Panginoong Hesus na humihiling. Humihiling dahil siya ay merong sentido kumun. Kung ganun ang nangyari, anong gagawin? Humingi ng tulong. At ito nga ang ginawa ng mahal na Birhing Maria na kung tutuusin ay tila likas na sa kanya. Bakit ko nasabi ito? Abay, sa unang pagkakakita pa lang natin sa mahal na Birhen, sa pagpapahiyag ng anghel, pagpapakita sa kanya, at pagbunyag ng uh, pagpili bilang magiging ina ng uh, anak ng Diyos, abay, nalaman din ni Maria na ang kanyang uh, kamag-anak na si Isabel or Saint Elizabeth ay ayun, buntis sa kanyang kalagayan na kung tutuusin, ihabing natin ay tila lola na. Kaya nga isipin ninyo, isang lolang buntis. Eka, eka, at talagang nahihirapan sa kanyang pagdadaan ng kagampan, siyam na buwan. Sintido ko mo, ano ang ginawa ng mahalabang Maria? Abay, isang araw kumigit ko mo lang. Naglakad papunta sa kabundukan upang tulungan ang kanyang pinsan sa kanyang pagdadaan ng hirap. Imagine six months na. Kaya meron na malapit na sa kabuhanan. So for three months, tinulungan siya ng mahal na birhen upang sa gayon ay lumabas na nga at ipanganak si Juan Bautista. At pagkatapos ito, balik sa kanyang bayan upang gampanan naman ang pagdadalang tao at later on panganganak sa mahal na tagatubos ng sanlibutan ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. At dahil dito, makikita natin na kahit hindi pa panahon, eh ka nga, alam ng Panginoong Hesus ang pangangailangan, kaya nga siya ay nilapitan ng kanyang ina. Simple ang sinabi sa mga naglilingkod, gawin ninyo 
ang iuutos niya. Ganun kasimple ang pagtitiwala ng mahala birhen na may gagawin ang kanyang anak na pagtulong. Ito man ay milagro o ang pag-utos sa kanyang mga alagad na maghanap ng maihahandang bagong anak para sa mga bisita. Alam na natin ang nangyari. Ang unang kababalaghan na ginawa ng Panginoong Hesus bilang tanda ng pagtulong sa nangangailangan. At ito'y susundan pa ng napakaraming pagpapahayag at mga sinyalis dahil yun ang kanyang misyon. Ang ipabatid, ang mabuting balita ng kaligtasan at kaakiba, kasabay niya na sa likuran, sa kanyang tagiliran, kuminsan, nasa harapan marahil, ang kanyang ina, ang mahal na birhen na kung hindi natin na maalala, eh, huwag natin kalilimutan. Sa nagdaang uh, celebration uh, ng uh, Holy Week, nakita natin ang pagtatalaga ng Panginoon nang siya ay nakabayubay sa krus sa mahal na birhen bilang ina ng sangkatauhan na ang siya ay itagubilin sa pangangalaga ni San Juan na apostol na kanyang binigyan ng karapatan na sa pagtada ng mga birhen ay siya ang mag-aalaga nito. And in effect, yun na nga ang nangyari. Dahil dito, huwag na huwag nating kaliligtaan na ito marahil ang dahilan kung bakit marami ang nagpunta sa dabahan ng ito ng mga labirin ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Ang magpuri sa Diyos, hopefully, una-una na magpasalamat sa bigay na buhay at sa pangangailagang tayo lang ang nakaaalam ay dumulog sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ng mahal na birhen upang tayo ay matulungan sa ating pinagdada. Marahil, boses, pangangalaga at pagamahal ng inang tunay. At sabi nga ng Panginoon ay hindi matatawaran maliban na lang sa kanyang pag-aalaga sa atin. Na kahit makalimutan man tayo ng nanay, sa kanyang palad tayo ay inukit at nabubuhay. Kaya nga ba, sa magkasamang pagtataguyod ng ating Panginoong Hesus at ating mahal na Birhen, ang ating mga dasal, ang ating mga pangangailangan ay ating ibinudulog at harinawa sa kabutihan ng puso at pagtatalaga ng Diyos, tayo ay mabiyayaan. Kahapon, ating ipinagdiwang sa ikalawang linggo sa pagkabuhay ang tinatawag nating Divine Mercy Sunday. Dahil minarapat ng ating butihing Santo Papa Juan Pablo II noon na gawin ang pagkilala sa napakalaking pagmamahal ng Diyos sa tao na kanyang tinupad sa pag-aalay ng buhay ng kanyang anak sa krus. At ito nga, ang pagmamahal na ito ay binibigyan kulay manang mukha sa pagmamahal ng Diyos sa kanyang awa sa sangkatauhan. Kaya sa pagpapatuloy po ng ating misa, ating hilingin sa Diyos, unang-una na, mapagkumbabang ialay ang ating sarili at bihiyaan ng pananampalatayang dalisay at harinawa sa pan. Dahil sa Kanya, ang lahat ay may kabuuan. We now all stand to offer our petitions. Let us now pray to our knees so that, like Mary, we may respond generously to God in our daily lives. For every petition, we shall say, Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and religious leaders, 
that they may remain faithful and committed to the task of shepherding the faithful, especially those who have lost their way, that they may be led back to the path towards Jesus, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. That our government leaders may find inspiration in the life of Mary, who lovingly served the Lord in accepting the responsibility of bearing and raising the child Jesus. May they serve the people in the spirit of charity, putting aside their personal interest and advancing the common good of the people. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. That the love of God made incarnate in the world through the Virgin Mary inspire us to share the same love with one another, especially to the poor and the marginalized in the society. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For all the faithful departed, that they may see face to face the radiance of God's glory in heaven, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. God, our Father, through the intercession of Mary, fill our hearts with your love. And as you're rewarded and revealed to us by a star, the birth of your Son as man, so lead us through his sufferings and death to the glory of his resurrection. This we pray through Christ to our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray to brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, with loving hearts, we bring you these gifts. Change them into the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your Son, who at the request of his mother changed water into wine, and by this miraculous sign foreshadowed the hour of his death and resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with loving care for the bridegroom and his bride, she turns to her son for help and tells the servants what he commands. Water is changed into wine. The wedding guests rejoice as Christ foreshadows the wedding feast that is his daily gift to his bride, the church. In this great sign, the presence of the Messiah is proclaimed. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit is foretold, and the hour of salvation is foreshadowed when Christ will clothe himself with the royal robes of his passion to shed his blood on the cross for his bride, the church. Now with angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, we proclaim the unending hymn of your praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the, in the name, name of the Lord, Lord Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Archbishop, and all the clergy and the religions. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, all the Dominican saints, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we joyfully and gratefully sing. Ava namin sumasalangit ka Sambahin ang alam mo Mapasa amin ang kaharian mo Sundin ang loob mo Dito sa lupa para ng salagi Bigyan mo po kami ngayon ng aming kakalisarawan at pagkawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala. Nagkakasala sa amin At huwag mo kami ibahin tulot sa tukso At iatya mo kami sa lahat ng masama Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we now offer one another the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the, the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. peace. Please kneel. Beloved, behold the Lord Jesus, Son of God and Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we now who are invited to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but let me say the word, word and, my and my soul shall be healed. healed.
kindly all deal for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. From Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver, Deliver us, Lord. Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver, Deliver us, Lord. Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear, Hear us, us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Hear Lord. Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear, Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear, Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, the call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stay. Let us pray. Lord God, filled with the sacrificial meal of the body and blood of Christ, we ask that in imitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may follow Christ faithfully, provide for the needs of the Church, and together foreshadow the coming of your Kingdom by the unity of mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. So before we go, I would like to thank you all, our devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for attending this uh, novena in Mass. And uh, we thank also our helpers here at the altar, our commentator and uh, lecturer, Sister Pastor Martinez. We also thank our server, Brother Raymond Andrade, and our ministers, extraordinary ministers of communion for assisting me at uh, communion. Ako po si Father Rafael O.P., isang uh, paring Dominicana na assigned sa Letran Bataan at dating miyembro ng komunata dito na nagpapasalamat po muli sa inyong lahat. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless us all the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now we conclude our celebration with the customary prayer and blessing of the sick, as well as prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. So those sick among us, healing for healing, and also praying for those left at home, asking for our prayers, we offer the following prayer. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And for our religious articles, can we hold them in front of you as we bless them now? Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, but most especially you, my dear devotees, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.